So, uh, as you may or may not know, there is a huge uh, debate going on about uh, IQ uh, or the intelligence quotient uh, on Twitter. And uh, it's basically one guy against uh, everybody else. Uh, it's Nassim Taleb against uh, a really well-respected IQ researchers like uh, Gregory Cochran uh, and others, uh, Steve Saylor, for instance. And uh, I believe that the, the debate has actually ended now uh, with the victory of uh, Taleb. And the reason for this is that I understood what he was uh, getting at, so obviously the debate is over. Uh, Taleb made the point, and I took me like half an hour to get it, but uh, now, I, now I really get it, that uh, if IQ was really uh, a measure that was reliable or valid, you know, whatever you, you, you call it, uh, then uh, if you have a uh, distribution, the bell curve classic distribution, then the correlation of IQ uh, with uh, what is uh, putatively being measured, that is, life success or general intelligence, the correlations sh should increase when you get into the tails. So what it's me this means essentially is that um, uh, IQ should tell us more about you if you have an IQ of 150 than if you have an IQ of uh, 50. Oh, sorry. IQ should tell us more about you if you have an IQ of 150 or 50 than if you have an IQ of 100, which is the average of the population. And the reason why this is so is that uh, when you're in the middle of a distribution, you uh, have a lot of noise. So uh, let's say you're just average intelligence as measured by IQ, 100 then your life success is uh, determined to a great degree by other, other things. Uh, uh, for instance, your, how extroverted you are, or uh, you know how conscientious you are, how hard you work, and uh, how you get along with people, so on. But if your IQ is 50, although actually it doesn't really, I think, go be beyond uh, 70, or below 70, but if you're really stupid, then uh, you can be the most extroverted, hardworking person ever, which is really the, like a stereotype, you know, the, the simpleton who, is, who is a, has a big heart and works hard and whatever, but he will never really ex achieve success. So IQ is very reliable here. The correlation with success is extremely high. And conversely, what should be true if IQ was a real measure is that... Uh, as your IQ really gets into the high uh, levels, you should be like unfailingly successful at life. Uh, you should uh, really triumph uh, even if you're hampered by all kinds of uh, other problems, like you're extremely introverted, uh, you're uh, tremendously disagreeable, you know, people hate you, but you're so intelligent that it's it, like triumphs and the correlation is extremely high. So that's how it should work. But how, how it actually works, which Taleb explains very well, is that actually in the left tail of the distribution, if you're really low IQ, 70, you know, IQ 70, then it's quite well correlated. But as you get uh, get to the higher IQs, it doesn't go like, uh, like this. It should go like this, very high correlation, a little bit correlation, and again, very high correlation. But actually it goes like pretty high correlation and then stably low correlation. So what this shows is mathematically that uh, IQ is not uh, a valid measure. It doesn't measure the right tail of the distribution. So I, I think, uh, you know, as just uh, additional remarks by me, I think that um, IQ measures something very specific and, and actually something very new. Uh, which is uh, sort of um, mm, linear reasoning, let's say, or first-order reasoning. Uh, uh, so, like, um, you have a problem which is well-defined, and you know there is an answer, and, and then you find the answer on the test. But uh, in real life, where things are 
complex and there aren't you know obvious real obvious answers there may, may be no answer to a particular problem uh, and things are just multi-dimensional mm, then IQ stops working really mm, and it seems that it uh, you know it, it works if you're just doing pure mathematics for instance but uh, if you're an entrepreneur uh, things are much more complicated than that so this is the problem with uh, IQ and actually I'm pretty happy that uh, Taleb has uh, you know somebody if anybody could debunk like IQ, it would be him, and he has successfully done it, in my opinion. And it makes me happy because I, I got really obsessed with IQ at some point, and I started to become like very pessimistic about, um, you know, I thought IQ was reliable, and, and if, you, if you think it's really reliable, you get into some pretty dark places. But uh, I guess uh, now I'm a bit more optimistic about things. Uh, I, I'm... I'm going to leave it to you to figure out what I mean by that. Uh, yeah, so that's about it. Uh, nice Christmas present from uh, Nassim to me. And, of course, to everybody else that's following him on Twitter, which I encourage you to do. Thanks very much, and Merry Christmas.